Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is method overloading and how to use method overloading in Java. So before getting into this method overloading, let us understand what is polymorphism. So polymorphism is one of the OOPS concept. Poly in the sense many, morphism in the sense form. Nothing but many form. So which means in real time, a single object is going to perform different tasks. So we can divide a polymorphism into two types. One is overloading. Another one is overriding. So overriding is related to inheritance. So we will be discussing in our upcoming videos. So now we are going to concentrate on overloading. So overloading is a type of polymorphism. I can divide this overloading into two types. One is method can overload also constructor can overload so in this video we are going to concentrate on method overloading in the next video we will be discussing about constructor overloading so already we are familiar what is method and how to define a method so we have discussed in our uh, previous video so now let me define a method let me say void my method I can give any method name for example I am giving a method name as my method so this is my method so method overloading in the sense single or common method name but it is going to perform different task so already we know that overloading is a type of polymorphism so polymorphism in the sense it's a ability to take more than one form nothing but single or similar prototype but Functionality will be different. So let us say my method with integer argument. So let me define one more method with same name. Let it be two argument. You can look at uh, these two methods. The prototype is same. So the method name is same, but I'm going to perform different functionality. So for example, in this first method, I'm just going to display or I'm going to find the factorial. I'm just writing the factorial logic. And in the second method, I'm just going to find the sum of these two numbers. So, and you can look at this code. I have two methods with same name, but the functionality is different. Nothing but single method name but 
different forms or different functionality so that's why i can say it's a method overloading actually i'm, I'm overloading my method so this my method is performing factorial logic and this my method is performing addition so now how the compiler will identify the relevant method so the compiler will identify the relevant method based on the argument list different let me create a object of this class i'm trying to call my method by passing one integer argument and second i'm trying to call my method by passing two integer argument finally here it's a overloaded method i'm trying to invoke my method by passing one integer argument so now because of this line it will invoke this my method and it will perform factorial logic and second i'm trying to invoke the same overloaded method by using this two argument both are integer so now in this case it will invoke the second method and it will perform addition so finally overloading means sorry method overloading in the sense same method name but the argument list must be different because the compiler can identify the overloaded method with the help of this argument list different only so in the first method you can see i have one argument and in the second method i have two arguments let us add one more method i'm saying that void my method i'm using the same method name this time i'm passing string argument and i'm displaying just a welcome message so this is also method overloading so you can look at the first and second sorry first and third method both are with one argument but the type of argument is different so finally method overloading in the sense within a class i am defining more than one method with same name but here the condition is the argument must be different so argument different in the sense it it may be a number of argument different or it may be a type of argument different because the compiler is identifying the relevant overloaded method with the help of this argument list different so now if i try to call my method by passing some string value then the third method will get executed so hope friends so far it's clear some of them may have a doubt whether this overloading is based on only the argument list different or it is based on written type so many of uh, many of them have a query on this one so overloading is method overloading is not only method overloading including constructor overloading also so overloading is based on this argument list different only so argument list different in the sense that may be a number of argument or it can be a type of argument but it is not based on return type so let me say string and it is returning 
in valley so this is also overloading yes overloading is based on only the argument is different it is not based on your return type just to capture my output i'm just enclosing with system dot out dot printella I am summarizing the point once again. So overloading is a type of polymorphism and there are two types of overloading. Method can overload, also constructor can overload. So what is the meaning of method overloading? So within a class, I am defining more than one method with same name. but the argument list must be different so argument list must be different in the sense it may be a number of argument or it can be a type of argument and another one important point is overloading is not based on return type return type can be anything so only this argument list must be the different so how the compiler is identifying the relevant overloaded method the compiler is identifying the relevant overloaded method with the help of arguments let us run and observe our output right so we are getting output in the expected manner now let me add one more point over here i'm trying to call my method by passing one double value you can look at my code i don't have any method with i have i don't have any overloaded method with double argument so that's why the compiler is giving the compile time error so which mean the compiler is identifying the overloaded method during compilation time itself i'm repeating the point again you can look at the error message the compiler is identifying the relevant overloaded method during compilation time itself so that's why i can say overloading is compile time polymorphism because it is identifying the overloaded method during compilation time itself so finally i can say overloading is compile time polymorphism or i can say it is static binding so hope friends we are clear about what is method overloading and how to use method overloading in java and also we understood that how the compiler is identifying the re relevant overloader method during compilation time so in our next video we will be discussing about constructor overloading so thanks friends for watching this video If you like this video please subscribe and click on the bell symbol so that as soon as i upload new video you will be getting the notification also you can share it with your friends